Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on doing the load analysis. I'm 100% sure you will definitely like this video because this video is nothing but actually a real time data scenarios. So in today's session, we'll see how the data analysis or MDM load analysis is done in the real time scenarios. So for example, you already configured MDM hub then we then you ran the MDM hub job couple of times such as job such as landing load stage job load job match job and merge job so every time whenever you load the job you get some statistic and those statistics definitely help to improve the performance of the MDM so how to capture those statistics and how to analyze the data that thing we are going to see in today's session sometime client asks how long this currently going load is going to take so how to answer how can we estimate the currently going on load and how can we stabilize or how can we benchmark those things those such things we are going to see in today's session so let's start today's session so first thing we should do we we have to make sure everything is configured properly in the MDM hub I'm talking about the all the landing tables staging table base object tables along with that we must have configured the base object property match and merge property and also tokenization related properties because tokenization is one of the important job one which we run during this MDM job process as we know the process start from the stage job and then it goes for the load job then it goes for the merge job in today's session we will consider only the stage job and the load job however in your project or in your case you can use all other jobs also such as tokenization job match job merge job or match and merge up together as well so so uh, in the production environment okay so once we do the initial load initial data load and if you configure the daily delta load so that every day or every week if you have the load jobs running in that case every suppose consider the scenario we have the daily load job so every every day some load comes uh, we get the data and we load the data suppose the data is coming from the ETL so ETL will push the record into MDM landing table and then we'll do the stage job which will push the record in the staging table then subsequent job is load job which will push the record from the staging table to the target table called as the base object table now for today's session I have considered a couple of tables such as party table, address table, etc. In this uh, MDM hub console, you can see there are two tables, address table and cust table. But for my demo, I have considered some more other tables also. In the each load, I got some of the record got inserted and loaded in the MDM hub. I have not taken the actual count from this currently displayed load, but I have taken some dummy values to show you in the spreadsheet so first thing we have to capture all the previous loads for example there are in this job which ran on the 19th August at 6 uh, 6 16 p.m. Eastern time which loaded the two records similarly on the suppose this is the next day or the previous day records we got some more record so we have to capture all those records and how long this job is going on for example this job is ran for the three seconds the next job also ran for the three seconds the stage of for the customer ran for the nine seconds so these are the details you need to capture because these are the details only you will get from the MDM hub we also ran the load job for the corresponding table and we can see these are the record which loaded and it's a corresponding timestamp as well so once we capture these things the next thing we have to manage this data so this is the source data means from where we can get this statistic it is the MDM hub which will give us 
the all the basic data for example how many records are loaded and how much time it is taking to load this record of course this time might may vary each time for example if you consider this load it is loading the two record but it took 16 seconds but the next time it took for the two record it took nine seconds in case of address it is taking for the three seconds to load so the time varies as per the configuration and the table a data varies if the number of columns in the customer table are more than the number of column in the address definitely it is going to take more time to load the customer table so these are there are some other factors also not only in the configuration but also database level also which might be impacting your performance but of course we have to benchmark those things and in order to benchmark we have to at least uh, the previous 10 to 20 runs record so if you once you're done with the initial data load make sure the next 10 to 20 loads you have captured properly without any errors or if you're getting that hung state during your stage job that such such a job cannot be considered for a good fit for the analyzing or for the benchmarking the things okay so these are the input for the data load analysis so once you capture the data so for example in this spreadsheet we have the table name address party party electronic address party phone person detail we have the CRM stage job because what I captured here I have captured the data as per the source system so CR is a CRM is a source system it has stage job and the load job similarly we have the cell system with the stage job and the load job if you have the multiple system you can capture all these systems here as well now consider the scenario address has a record around 20 millions party has 10 million electronic address has a 15 million party phone has 14 million and person details has 10 million these are the dummy data I have got for the demo purpose only now consider to load the 20 million record it is taking two hours for the stage job and particularly for the CRM system these are more realistic figures or more realistic time capture I from my experience of course this time vary but it is quite uh, quite close to real time scenarios for the 10 million suppose it is taking 15 million uh, 50 minutes so all these times which is corresponding to this data uh, particularly for the CRM stage data once we got this data we are converting into second of course we can convert into millisecond also for more appropriate estimation but second is quite good uh, measure to estimate the job then convert this all this data into average because what are the count I got here it is not from the one data point means it is not for the one run what are the address I captured around 20 millions those might be from the last 20 runs so for example for first run it is 1 million for the second run it is 2 million for the third run it might be 0.5 million so all those runs I captured for last 20 runs suppose the address are 20 million part is 10 million and for the even the time also what I capture suppose for the first run it took 30 minutes for the next run it is took like the 20 minutes so all those time is uh, it is nothing but the sum 2 hours is nothing but the sum of last 20 runs and 20 million record count it is the sum of the last 20 runs so we got those data and we make this average average is nothing but what are the um, here if you see the formula c3 divided by b3 c3 means it is this is the time divided by the count so it is giving 0, uh, 0 0.00036 similarly i have captured all other counts also once you capture the crm uh, once you capture the data for crm stage so this data is uh, the count data is coming from the MDM hub and second data is also coming from the MDM hub average we calculated based on the formula similarly we capture the CRM data uh, CRM load job data so this is the count and this is the time taken from the last 20 runs of course here I have mentioned the hours so that for the more um, give the more clear idea 
and this is converted into seconds of course as like the CRM we also converted or we captured all the staged data as well as the load data of course we here we are consider the sales system data is little more compared to the CRM system of course this scenarios may vary in the real-time scenarios or it is has a different kind of data set and it has a different kind of time taken scenarios also it, it totally depends on the how you configured your system in the MDM hub so for example for the cell system we are getting addresses as a 21 million parties are uh, 11 million electronics address select 16 million phones uh, 15 million and the person detail as a 11 million and the respective con related to the load job so we got the average for the each of these things so we got the average for the CRM stage CRM load cell stage and the sales load as well so what to do next next thing you have to do you have to create one more a spreadsheet so instead of relying on this data because this is like the kind of baseline for us so once you baseline capture all this average data in spreadsheet and mention it is a benchmark it will going to help us in next spreadsheet so I have just copy and pasted those things here so if you see it is a basic data so what are the basic data tab and the D3 DT means if you go here basic data and this is G tab G column and uh, it is E column and this is D column so if you see it's a D3 and it is 0036 and the same is captured here D3 is 0036 similarly we have captured for the all the other tables also means if your basic data changes all the changes will get automatically reflected in this spreadsheet so we have the CRM stage data we have CRM load data along with that we have the sales stage and the sales load data so we just captured here the next spreadsheet is very important and this is kind of we can use very regular basis we know there are the these are the tables address party party electronic address party phone person detail we now what are the benchmark we have what are the basic data those we are not going to change over the period of time but of course if significant differences happen then we have to revisit this basic data and recalculate the benchmark but load analysis give us a current load scenarios for example in today's date suppose for the address I'm getting 9 million from the CRM system and from the cell system I'm getting 11 million similarly we have the party party electronic address party phone and person detail these are the table counts no, this is I'm giving for the today's load based on the today's load the CR, uh, we are going to calculate how many seconds this job is going to take for example for the 9 million record how much how many seconds the CRM stage will take so formula is B2 into benchmark B2 means this is the B2 B and column 2 into benchmark B3 so we have to visit go to the benchmark and B3 so if you see this is B column and for the address it is 0036 so using that formula this value is get calculated and similarly we get uh, we calculate the CRM load data calculate the cell stage cell load. at the end the predicted will be means what the prediction so what will this will do so this will sum the all this second and convert into hours so this is these all the re, uh, the stage job for the CRM if you consider all these tables it will take 3.4 hours CRM load will take around 4.6 hour this is based on this calculation I means sum of these seconds and to convert into hours cell stage will take 4.7 cells load it will take 6.1 hour so the total predicted or estimated hours will be 18.8 hours to load this all this data from the all this table however once you're done with that and if you're doing the actual analysis actual run so this is the what are this 
okay, row number seven it is nothing but the estimated hour so estimate is taking 18.8 hours now if you run the actual job and if you if you capture the real-time data okay so for example all stage job took four hours so this is actual data CRM load took 3.5 hour CRM stage took 3.8 hours sales load took around six hours so total actual hours will be 71.3 so deviation at the each stage we can get how much deviation is there if the deviation is large like the 20 or the 50 percent then that means we have to revisit the basic data and we need to get the more number of capture of the record like instead of 20 load we can take latest 30 or the 40 loads data and corresponding time and re recalculate this average however this baseline is definitely based on the uh, most recent and most latest statistic so normally in the real time scenarios normally in my current project or my last project we actually benchmark once in a year of course in your project that benchmark updation or benchmark calculation may vary as per your business need because sometimes if issue comes or the database issues are there after fixing those issues your performance of the load might vary so you have to revisit after such a significant change at the database side so that it will give us more clear idea about the estimation so now suppose if i change instead of 9 million tomorrow suppose i'm loading uh, 10 million how it is how it will impact currently i'm having estimated hours is 18.8 hours let me change then and see how so now this value got changed because the stage crm change load crm change and the actual hours will also got changed that is 19 hours if i reduce this okay instead of 10 if i make sure as a 7 million now it is taking 18.3 or even if I make a 4 million so if you can see the immediate effect or immediate you can just change these values for this just data how much data we are getting and you will immediately come to know its estimated time I hope this video will definitely help you to estimate your currently doing currently going on loads even if you are not maintaining this spreadsheet in your project I would suggest make you can I would suggest uh, use this spreadsheet to maintain your MDM load analysis this will definitely give us clear idea and it will clearly give us a good picture to the business as well uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any questions about this MDM load analysis or any other question about the MDM SIF or IDD you can reach to uh, me at I mentioned the website you can subscribe my channel as well for more updates or more videos on the MDM hub thank you for watching the video and have a nice time